What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ascalon, and welcome back to MLB The Show 23. This is episode five, I believe, <laughs> of my Road to the Show playthrough series. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's been a while since the last episode, but if you've been a long time as Guardian, you know your boy Ascalon gets a little busy. Okay, I'm a teacher, I'm a coach, you guys know this for the most part, so if you're new, that's the reason why sometimes it takes a while between episodes. I have other stuff that I'm trying to complete on my channel, and I'm really working hard to get all that stuff done. I just finished my last episode of NCAA Football 14, my Road to Glory playthrough series, so I'm working on a couple of other things that are close to being done, but I told you, and I made a promise, we're going to make it to the major leagues on this game, so I still got months before the next MLB The Show game comes out. So I'm going to be trying to hit these episodes, you know, you know, harder, quicker, faster, stronger, whatever. <laughs> I'm sounding like Kanye West right now in uh, Daft Punk. But anyways, I will be churning out these episodes as much as I can. And we're going to make it to the major leagues in this playthrough series. I already made that promise and I'm going to stick to that promise. Even if MLB The Show 24 is out, <laughs> we're still going to keep going with this game until we get there but anyways let's not waste any time then let's go ahead and dive into the episode let's go all right so to kind of remind myself of about how many games we've played we're going to take a look at the calendar so we're we will finish up with april this episode so we'll be in may and just like last year's game i'm assuming they probably won't call me up at least until after the all-star break uh, from double A AA to triple A. So we got to get through June and of course part of July. All right. I am rusty. <laughs> so expect some strikeouts probably early on, but let's go ahead and get into the first game. Mississippi Braves. I'm batting third. Cool. Let's do this. Yeah. All right, Schuster. Give me some good pitches. That wasn't a good one. At least I still got my good eyes. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, 2-0. Oh. I'm going to take the next one. Trying to draw some walks. I was struggling to get that word out right there. Trying to draw some walks. Knew it was going to be right down the middle. They don't like to throw me three, four balls in a row. Like, they rarely walk me on four straight pitches. All right, let's see what this is. Pay attention. Ah, oh, I was out in front of that crap. They would have called out a strike, though. All right, at least we didn't strike out in the first at bat. Since I'm rusty, but my timing is definitely off. <laughs> and I figured that was going to be the case. I <laughs> forgot I was playing shortstop. <laughs> I'm so used to playing center field on this game. Or these games. Come on, turn it. Turn it. I forgot to turn the camera so y'all could see it. My bad. But we got it. Nice. Got it. <laughs> Look, I was about to gun that, and then I was like, nope. I'll just toss it here. I'm hitting two for 13 in the series against the Braves. Struggling. All right, Schuster, what we got here? Good pitch. Ah, oh, it's late on that. Stupid foul out. So I was way out in front of the pitch during the first at bat, and then I was very late the second at bat. But so far, no strikeouts, though. And he's in full speed. Up the middle, Gilly. Whips gotcha. On the ground to first. Oh, that and leaked through. Come on, come on, come on. Get it in, get it in, get it in. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. All right, we got a 3 2 lead, too. Oh, no, they got a 3 2 lead. Never mind. They're threatening to add on to it. The they didn't. Uh, oh, wait. That's the very next batter. All right, I'm just going to try to turn two here if it's hit to me. I'm just going to have to sacrifice that run there. Allowed him to go up 4-2. Okay, never mind. It wasn't hit to me anyways. Got it. Got it. 
That was a nice job by that first baseman throwing that to second and then getting back to cover the bag. All right, let's see what I can do here. There we go. That was good contact. But I think he might catch that, though. Yep. All right, that's my first solid contact. So, all right, ooh, first and third, one out. Ooh. All right, we got to turn two here. Let's go, fellas. Get it to me. Get it to me. Oh. He was only able to knock it down. Now they're up seven to two. Oh, crap. All right, we're going to probably lose this game then. <laughs> he just ran into him. At least he was able to keep it from going to the outfield, though, I guess. Okay, turn two. We're out of this inning, and then we got to score at least six runs in the bottom of the ninth. I don't know if I'll be batting in the bottom of the ninth. Come on, I'm ready. Turn it. Get it to me. He was too slow. Come on, second baseman, whoever that was. Too slow turning it. All right, I do get in the bat here. Ah. Uh, 0 for 4. All right, yeah, we lost. I expected that. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. I think it's another game against the Braves. Yep, I'm batting cleanup this game. Cool. Got a runner in scoring position. All right, come on. Good eye. Rick Jeezy. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's a little late on it, but found a hole. Got me an RBI. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so crunk, too. Like, yeah. So hype. I was locked in right there, as my students say. First and second, one out. Here's Josh Van Meter. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. Of course he has. He's always struggling. Oh, wait, no, not Van Meter. I was thinking about the guys that I had on my team last year, like Lutz and stuff. Runner tags up for third. And he moves up a base. So two away. So I think Van Meter was at second base last game, turning that slow butt double play. Oh, speaking of Tristan Lutz. All right, I may try to steal here. Let's see. I didn't watch his delivery to the plate last time. It is two outs, though. Ooh. Now Mike can go on him, and I think he's going to be trying to go after this batter here. So let's watch one more, and then we'll try to go on the third pitch, maybe. Let's see if they can cash in. Swings through that one for Man, I, one. I was about to say, I probably should have gone on that one, but he threw some heat right there. Come on, Tristan, let's protect me with a swing. Come on. Oh, gosh. That catcher moved a lot quicker than I expect, but I, I'm in there. <laughs> I meant to say that catcher moved a lot quicker than I expected because I always watch the catcher when I steal. Yeah. All right, come on, Lutz. Base hit. Bring home two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. They get a run out. Bruh. Tristan Lutz. Tristan freaking Lutz. I'm gonna change his last name to Putts. Tristan freaking Putts, because he's a Putts. Gosh. Trade him. <laughs> Tristan Lutz, if you're you're real, I'm assuming he's a real life player. If you ever watch my videos, I don't hate you in real life. I don't know how you play in real life, but your game counterpart stinks. You need to contact San Diego Studios about that. Oh, caught that with his hand. Nice. Nice. That's not Van Meter at second this time. Man, we're losing again. I knocked in a run and we're losing again. The crap, man. Bounce to the left side. Gilly gathers and throws to first. And that'll do it. Our team is not as good as it was in last year's game. All right, let's see what I can do here. Uh, weak contact, but that might drop. That might drop. Nope, it didn't. Being a little too aggressive. But if the pitch looks good, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing. Like <laughs> I don't let too many strikes go by if I can help them. If I can help it, I cannot talk today. I've been talking all week at school, so like it's like I've forgotten how to talk this weekend on videos. <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, man. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Got him. Oh, good stretch. Did almost a split right there. One away, one away. One away, one away. The ground out to short. Oh gosh. I'm not gonna throw it. He'll be safe at first. That wasn't gonna be a good throw. I didn't want an error. Although I did get an error one time by canceling a throw. But usually that doesn't happen. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. On the ground to the left, Gilly. Just gonna go to first. Zips it to first. And the inning is over. So they strand a pair. That was a good throw Home by me. Little throw on the run. Why is he checking out his glove? And then the ball. That was weird. That's kind of interesting, though. All right, Domingo Gonzalez. Give me something. Man, we're down 8-1. to one. Ooh. That was 91 miles an hour? That was, that was like a freaking changeup. And he's been on a gosh the plate, hitting over that made me look bad last 10 games. there we go oh, high fly ball out to left center Dean sizes this one up ah. grab on the run. and there are two outs hung up in the air too long the one swing at a bouncer zips it across I wish I had scooped that up with my hand that would have been cool gosh it's 11 to one we're getting destroyed by the Braves Man, they're good in the major leagues, but I didn't know their minor league was that good, too. Their double-A team. Golly. I barely got that guy, too. Here comes a pitch. Ah. Late. Very late. And he deals. Uh. Hey, I'm just happy that I'm putting the ball in play. I was expecting not to this game, at least the first few at-bats since it's been a while, but I guess muscle memory. <laughs> I don't know. Another loss for us. If you want to see us win a good amount of games, go and watch my MLB The Show 22 playthrough series. <laughs> I never make it to AAA or the major leagues, but... We win a lot of games in that series. We, we just this one. Mm -mm. Braves lead the series four to one. Oh my gosh, we suck. All right, please tell me we're playing a new team now. No, we got one more game against the Braves. I'm still batting cleanup. Yeah, they're only ten and ten too. What they've been owning us. We're seven and thirteen for the season. First pitch coming your way next. Oh gosh, <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> hey, dude, don't quit your day job. <laughs> Whatever you do, keep doing that. Don't ever try to become a pitcher. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, got him, got him. Come on, get it there. Too late. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with Statcast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big. I was just looking at that Statcast stuff, and I found it pretty awesome that during the games they can figure stuff out like that. I mean, the technology that's involved in, you know, professional sports is just crazy. <laughs> Like, you know, back in the early days of baseball, they didn't have all that stuff. But now, I mean, they can calculate how fast you fart when you're on the field. Like, it's just amazing. Oh, got a duck on the pond here. Let's go. Bottom of the first, two out. Let's see if I can bring him home. You know, I usually clutch up. Oh. Oh. Get out of here. Get out of here. Makes the catch up against the wall. Bruh. An inning in the books. No score here on the show. Perfect swing. I thought that was gone. Or at least over his head. Then that right fielder made a heck of a play. What the crap, man? Welcome back. <laughs> and now the DH. Oh. It's lame. 
Lame, lame, lame. I finally got really good contact on the ball this episode, and he catches it. Oh, look at the stop. Over to first. And very nicely done for the Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. That wasn't even a good throw, but I didn't think they would have counted it as an error, even if I had a bad throw there because I dove and took away a base hit. They probably would have still labeled it as a base hit. All right, bases loaded. All right, come on. Come on. Bring him home, Ascalon. Oh, good pitch. Was way out in front of that. Golly. All right. 0-2 count. My first one this episode. Uh. Makes it. Yeah, let's go. Brought home one, maybe two. Oh, no, he got gunned. <laughs> hey, I brought home one of them, though. Nice. Man, the music's so good in this game. <laughs> and that's like the... Not the licensed stuff that can get me copyright claims and stuff. And it's still really good. So whoever worked on this soundtrack, whatever songs they got from artists, good job. Like every time I'm coming up to bat or somebody else is, I'm like bobbing my head and dancing to the music. Oh, drop, 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 drop. Yeah. Got a little bloop hit. Yeah. All right. I don't expect the person behind me to do anything, but we'll see. Yeah, Van Meter's been struggling, so I expect him to strand both of us. Okay, good eye. Come on. Batted 190 with runners in scoring position. It's like we lost some of the knuckleheads we had last year, and we gained some new ones <laughs> that just struggle really badly. Come on, man. Swing the bat. Let's go. Strike out. Here we go. Calling it. On this pitch, too. Watch. Okay. He hung in there. All right, strike out this pitch. <laughs> I have no confidence in my teammates. Told you. Swinging that crap, man. Like, that was way outside. I mean, I swing at crap sometimes, too, but we all do. I mean, in real life, you do, too, but that happens way too much when I'm on base. Like, come on, teammates. That's why we keep losing. See, I gave us a 2-1 lead, and we're probably going to blow it at some point. All right, let's turn that two. Let's turn it two. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, it's going to be too late. Oh, no, we got him. Nice. Now, that wasn't easy. Good throws. Black, I don't know you, but good throw. All right, we're still up two to one here in the seventh. I'm going to throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Got him. Throw to second, out at second. That ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Oh, <laughs> he might have actually been safe there. I don't know. I would have to, like, watch the replay from different angles and can't really do that. Not while doing road to the show. Good old RTTS. Oh, I knocked it down. I did knock it down. I think I dove a little too early. I should have waited just like a half a second. Oh, he's stealing. Come on, gun him. Nope, he's safe. I'm going power swing for hit. I'm trying to hit a dinger. Get us up by two runs at least. Nobody's on base, of course. Oh. <laughs> and first offering is fouled off. 
That was not good. Good, not great. <laughs> Actually, not even good. Uh, he's going to catch that. Yep. Fail that challenge, of course. Yep, thank you for letting me know, game. <laughs> like, I'm not aware of that. Oh, man, we're still in this game. Oh, Riddle's second. What out? Oh, my goodness. They're threatening. All right, get your butt back to second. Yeah, all right. One more out. Come on, closer. Close it out. Come on. Come on, Zach Venaro. Venaro, however you say your last name. I did my job right there. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh. They ended up scoring with two freaking outs. Two runs. They scored. Oh dang. Did I crush that? Yeah. I'm about to tie it up, baby. Okay, I'm doing everything that I can to help us win. I need my teammates to help me out. Come on. I need to try to get the second. Let's go. I'm locked in. All right, let's see how he throws to the play. Oh, Van Meter. I forget he's batting behind me. Uh, Okay, he did a little slide step there. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers win mm. just like this. There's a All right, Coach, giving me a sign. I'm going to try. I know that doesn't always mean that I'm going to be successful, but I'm, I'm successful more so than not whenever they do signs like that from the dugout. Runner on the go. Towards left center. Please drop. Oh crap. Okay, it did drop. Oh gosh, go, go, go. I'm I'm scoring. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Come on, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Yes, let's go. I thought he was gonna catch it, so I was like, let me at least go back to second so I can go back to first, but it got down. Good call, coach. Oh, and I got player of the game too. Did I? Nobody forgets that. I don't somebody else was walking. I don't know. I thought that was like a coach or something. Yes, we win. I helped out a lot in that game. So glad we won. Man, that was almost bad, though. I was too afraid to keep going, but I was fast enough to get there. I barely got there, too. That was a good relay throw home. Oh, man. Went three for five that game with two RBIs and a run score. Let's go. Finally hitting the ball well again. No strikeout so far this episode. Knock on my desk. All right, let's see if we can get two more in. We're finally in May. Got a day off. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I can improve my contact, which I'm hitting the ball pretty well, so we don't need to really focus on that yet until we get to maybe triple A. Arm accuracy. Oh, add a little power there. Oh, let's do durability. Don't want to get hurt. Ooh, a There's podcast. been a movement in recent years to just let the kids play. Players showing their emotion all over the field. I've got minor league manager Rachel Balcom. Batting with six me. right Rachel, now. What's your opinion Crap, on man. players playing with their emotions on their sleeve? I'm all for it. It's important to show the fans who these players really are. And a lot of times, you know, as you know, they're, they're hilarious. They have these incredible personalities. And I think letting them show those personalities is what it's what's going to draw people to the game. So I'm all for it. And I know it's controversial, but I'm on the side that I just says, bumped hey, my desk. Sorry, y'all. You want if you hit a tank, <laughs> like do it, you know. You're out. All right, let's do this. I had to make sure everything's good on my, my camera and stuff. <laughs> Since I'm bumping my desk and crap. I didn't realize my uh, armrest, whatever they're called, was that close to the desk. So <laughs> I tried to scoot forward and I was like, bonk. All right, base is loaded. Let's go. Two outs, though. Ah, I hit it right to the shortstop. I can't bring home every run. I mean, they can't rely on me to get all the RBIs. Like I said, teammates got to help me out. Left-hand hitter waits. Ground ball up the middle. 
Tosses to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. And we're losing one to nothing. <laughs> Even that fiddle music sounds cool. And I'm not a fan of country, but that fiddle sounded awesome. Right hander kicks deals towards first. Oh my gosh. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Next time I see the score, they're going to probably have more runs. Okay, it's the very next batter, so never mind. <laughs> if I had skipped ahead a little bit, then that would have been the case. All right, we got to turn two. Come on. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and miss. Tapped on the ground. Why do you have to tap it? We're not going to get two. Stupid tapper. I probably should have went to first on that, but we got the lead runner. Well, the second lead runner. <laughs> I don't know why I scooped it backhanded like that. Should have slow roller, man. You got to bare hand that crap. I really hate that I can't control the animations of my player, but then that might make the game more difficult if I could. <laughs> We're down five to nothing. Uh. Swing at a high fly ball left field. No trouble here. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Come on, get him. Nope, strike. he's in there. Back to the mound. Gilly. Got it. Out. Awkward throw, but got it. Oh, I think that's in the green. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. I was a little worried about that one. Damn, a lot of people trying to steal in this game. Got him, though. You got hosed, dude. <laughs> Good job, Nick Kale. I keep forgetting he's our catcher. I remember that name from last year's game. See, look at that. They can tell you the pop time of the catcher. That's crazy. <laughs> he went. <laughs> and welcome back. New inning getting started. Let's go. Doc Sackis. Doc Sackis. I like that name. No, I ain't swinging at that curveball. What? Well, these guys need to bring up the quality of their that dropped in there? Their what the heck? The uh, I guess it did. Wow. Good pitch, man. So far. Zero extra base okay, I ain't swinging at that one. It's been tough for him to get anything going. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Almost. <laughs> you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they There we go. Hey, Good hit. That almost stayed up in the air too long, though. Good line drive, though. It has some curvage to it. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now, Tyler Black. Going one. Okay, let's see what his delivery is like on this pitch since he did a slide step the first time. Ooh. Oh, man, that would have been a good pitch to go on. I'm getting a third. Ooh, that might be bad. Got there. Yeah, I could have totally stole on that guy, but never mind. <laughs> Definitely not going to try to steal home. Or will I? Nah, I'm not going to try to steal home. <laughs> that would be dumb. Now at the plate, Nick Kale. That hits the dirt. Ball one. All right, come on, Kale. He's hitting 352 for the season. Come on. I don't know what his runners in score position average is, but to me, that stat doesn't matter a whole lot. I mean, I I get it to a certain extent. It kind of shows how clutch you are um, and how you 
might thrive in pressure situations or not thrive. But really, like, I mean, anybody can get a base hit and bring home a run when they're in scoring position. Or anybody could strike out or fly out or ground out, you know, and not get a hit when runners are in scoring position. So, you know, it just – I was about to say, Nick Kale's so slow, he's going to be out. So, like, that's that truly doesn't matter. I mean, because baseball is, you know, a lot of skill, yes. But it's a little bit of luck as well because depending on what type of pitches you see, may determine, you know, how well you put the ball in play and just how you swing the bat. Any slight variation on your swing that's different than normal may cause you to foul out or something like that. So I kind of ignore the runners in scoring position stat for the most part. On the ground, a short could be two. Oh, gosh, that's not a good throw, but he scooped it out. I thought he scooped it. They're going to give me an error. Come on, man. He should have scooped that one up. Come on. <laughs> I can't even see my manager's face. Well, the first baseman need to be better at scooping the ball out. The dirt. Hey, what the crap, man? I mean, it wasn't a good throw for me, but still. He could have had that one. Right-hander back to work. That's it. Knew the first pitch was going to be a strike. That's why I hate these challenges. I hate selecting challenges like that. And he works in a two-seamer. Good eye on that. Ooh, I almost swung at that, but I saw it kind of dropping out of the zone. Ah! Good contact. Hit it right at the freaking first baseman. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, if there's a runner in scoring position, like, no matter if I'm hitting 400 with runners in scoring position or 123, made solid contact, grounded to first base. <laughs> so, again, that stat doesn't matter a whole lot to me. All right. I think we got time for one more game. I think we only played four. Some of these have been pretty lengthy. All right, let's get straight into the last game of the episode. Another one against the Biscuits. I'm batting seventh. What the crap, man? Can I go this episode without striking out? I just realized I haven't struck out yet in this episode. I probably just jinxed myself, but we shall see. <laughs> that might be the title of this episode. Can I go an episode without a strikeout? Ooh, I like that. My voice just cracked. <laughs> That's not how I sound it. But anyways, I like that. I need to make a note of that in my phone really quickly. Can I go again without... Got to hurry up. Striking out. Cool. Got the title for this episode while recording the video. Awesome. Because like with these sports games, you don't know what's going to happen. So I usually have to play first before I come up with a title, you know. And a lot of times I hope something impressive happens so that can really help me come up with it a lot faster. All right. Facing Michael Mercado. Ooh. 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 Nope. Man, I've come close to hitting a home run twice now in this episode. All right. I can tie it up here with a base hit. All right, little dog. I'm going to get my pitch. <laughs> oh. I was trying to hold up on that. That was my first swing at trash, I think, this episode as well. Oh, a little out in front of it. 0-2 count. We meet again. Oh, come on. I'm trying to go without a strikeout. Come on. Lock in. Oh, I almost let that one go. And I think he would have rung me up if I didn't swing at it. Uh, I was still early, though. I thought I was late on that. <laughs> oh, I put the ball in play. Woo. <laughs> I know I didn't get an RBI, but I didn't strike out because I'm trying not to strike out this episode. You got to be really careful saying that guy's last name. I would hate to be an announcer having to say his last name over and over again. 
on the ground. Gilly. Oh gosh. Throws to first. Uh, I got thrown off a little bit right with right that. Uh. Five. The biscuits out front here. Two. To They're doing an animation again. <laughs> I just ran right through them. Hey now, here we go. All right, come on. Give me something good to hit. Oh, beautiful curveball. Oh, my gosh. I was out in front of that crap. Wow, that was pretty. He got me on that one. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. I passed the challenge with a home run. Let's go. About time I hit one this episode. Yeah. Numero five. Let's go up. It. It, it, hey. Yeah. Three run blast. Get my Ronald Acuna Jr. on. Let's go. Yeah. Not then. Van Meter and Lutz. This year's two Stooges. I haven't found a third one to go with them yet. Lutz is still a part of it. <laughs> Crush that one. Let's go. Boom. Yeah. Oh, I almost hit the Franco Park thing that I like so much. We're we're losing five to four. What the crap? Bases loaded. Come on, man. What's the point of me even getting RBIs at this point? Doesn't even help us win. Golly, man, we suck. So bad. Ah. All right, I got one more at bat. On top five to four. <laughs> Sky Bolt. I like that name. I would have named my kid Lightning, though. <laughs> Lightning Bolt. My kid would be so hated, too, if I named him Lightning Bolt or her. <laughs> Ooh, another good swing. That's going to drop. Yeah. I'm getting me a triple right here. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ooh, almost came out the bag. Got me a triple. That's my fifth triple. I got as many triples as I do home runs. Now I need two more bats so I can get a double and a single. <laughs> All right, come on. Bring me home. Whoever's up to bat next. I don't know who's up next because I'm batting like seventh this episode. Oh, Sky Bolt. Come on, Sky Bolt. Tied up right here, right now. Come on, buddy. Oh, good swing, but just a little out in front of it, buddy. Hmm, good luck. Get me out. I'm quick. And I'm not even as fast as I want to be yet. I want to get that speed into the 90s. Wait, I can't remember my speeds in the 90s. I know my steel is not. My speed is 87. They just showed it. But it seems like uh, speed and steel fluctuates depending on the situations, and I don't know why. Yeah, good job, Scott Bolt. I want him batting after me every time. Forget those other punks like Van Meter and crap. Look, I'll stay in the seventh spot if I got a decent hitter behind me. Yeah, tied it up. Good job, Sky Bolt. Look at everybody. Y'all get back in the dugout before we get in trouble, though. <laughs> it's Tifus. Nice. Good job, Sky Bolt. All right. 5-5 five, five tie. We might go extra innings. Oh, gosh. I turned the camera too much. <laughs> I forgot it turns it as well. My fault, y'all. I made y'all look dizzy there. All right, come on, Ascalon. Let's lock in. Clutch up. Come on. Base hit. Brings on one. Oh, it's two outs, too, so I got to get a base hit. Oh, I hate sidearm pitchers. Oh, they throw me off so badly. I'm too busy looking at their stupid arms. If I ever play professional baseball, which I won't, but if I did, throw a sidearm pitcher against me, and I'm going to struggle. Crap, man. Oh, two count. Oh, I'm getting nervous. Forget knocking in the run. This might be my first strikeout because, uh. Okay. Yes. Base hit. Let's go. 
We're up six to five. Now, if we lose this game, I'm going to be so upset. Or if they tie it up, I'm going to be upset. Yeah, let's go. I'm hype. I'm hype. So I'm the best hitter in the league. Let's go. Yeah, everything is centered around me because if I don't do crap, we definitely don't win. I got to knock in most of the freaking runs. Come on, Scott Bolt. Another hit in the gap. You hit in the gap, I might can score. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good eye. With a hold back on it. Come on, Lightning. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call him. Get a little extra lead. So that way I can be burning the base pass up. All right, now you're ready. And the guy said, hee ha. <laughs> I love some umpires, like how they call strikes and stuff. I love the ones that like really get into it too. Like when it's strike three, they, their whole bodies be quivering <laughs> before they be like, ah. <laughs> oh. All right, come on. Let's hold them. Bottom of the ninth. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's end this episode with a win. He's standing there like he cool. You got a crappy last name because <laughs> it sounds like. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, we won. I didn't even get to field anything. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good way to end the episode right there. Good job, fellas. We still suck, but good job, fellas. <laughs> That's a weird sound. I had four RBIs in this game. Like, if it wasn't for me, we would have lost this game five to, what, two? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I was a double away from the cycle. Crap. I came close, though. I started hitting the... Uh, I started getting uh, that... <laughs> rewind. I started getting hits too late in the game. Ooh. Uh, got an equipment. All right. So that wraps up another episode of MLB The Show 23, my Road to the Show playthrough series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So we're going to be making our way through May now. And then we got June and then July to the all-star break and hopefully i get pulled up to triple a and then from there it's trying to get to the major leagues which i just got a feeling i'm gonna have to play a whole season at least at a double a and triple a level and then maybe i'll get called up you know next season <coughs> oh excuse me sorry um maybe get invited to spring training and stuff like that but we gotta make our way through games pretty quickly soon so um, i'm gonna try to get on that now that i'm getting some stuff done on my channel so if you like this video hit that like button more mlb to show 23 coming for you guys in the near future it is make it to the major leagues or bust in this playthrough series so that's what i plan to do drop me a comment below let me know what you thought about the playthrough this episode i didn't strike out yeah even though i thought i would several times since i was rusty and i hope that I can, you know, play the game a lot faster next time and not have to go so long without playing. I haven't even been doing an off-camera playthrough. I've been playing through Skyrim. I've been working my way through that game because I want to finally beat that game. Um, I've had it for years and I've gotten pretty far into it, pretty deep into it, but I've never beaten it. And I'm like having so much fun just exploring and running around and like stealing stuff from people <laughs> and all kind of stuff. Like I haven't even started any of the main quests or any of the big side quests even. I've done a few like little minor quests for people like give them a mammoth tusk and stuff like that. But I've been going around to all the holes and stuff. But anyways, this is not a Skyrim playthrough series. This is MLB the show. So I just wanted to let you know what I've been playing off camera because I haven't been playing even my Braves playthrough off camera. I need to get back into that one so I can keep, you know, playing this game and staying fresh with it but it kind of like was pretty awesome taking some time away from it though it's like when you're trying to learn an instrument and you you're trying to learn how to play a particular song and you struggle with it a little bit and you can kind of do it and then you put it aside for a few days come back to it and all of a sudden you can do it maybe not perfectly but you're a lot better along than you thought you were like our bodies are weird the way they work like it kind of felt like that like I was kind of struggling towards the end like that. I think that last episode I did, you know, hit the ball and put the ball in play, obviously, but started striking out and stuff like that um, more so. And so taking some time away from it helped. <laughs>
So anyways, if you're new around here, check out all of my content in addition to Let's Plays like MLB The Show 23. I also do gaming trailer reactions on my channel, gaming shorts on my channel, and unboxing videos of video games monthly content. And I got some other types of videos coming for you guys really soon that, that are in the works that I've been working on. So if you like the content on my channel, definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, consider supporting my channel by either signing up for a channel membership or joining my Patreon for as low as a dollar a month. You get access to some cool perks that I try to give you guys. So no pressure. But if you want to support the channel so I can produce even more content, uh, like eventually I want to maybe, you know, hire an editor to edit my videos. I do everything myself right now. Maybe hire somebody to make my thumbnails. I'm trying to upgrade my equipment. So definitely if you're digging the stuff and you want to help support the channel, go check out my Patreon. Um, you'll see it at the end of the video that it'll show a link to it or check out my YouTube channel memberships A lot of the perks are the same on both So sign up for one or the other and become like a super super souped up as guardian <laughs> I'm on social media Facebook Instagram Twitter and TikTok and threads or X instead of Twitter Sorry, it's gonna always be Twitter to me. I don't think I can ever call it X. Yeah, take that Elon but anyways, I'm on social media at all those sites. So follow me all at Ascalon, same name as my channel for additional content you may or may not see in my videos. My wife and I have a YouTube channel together called Team Rixie. Where we post vacation videos and taste test videos. So check that channel out. See a different side of your boy Ascalon, none gaming content and maybe subscribe to that channel as well. We'll be heading to Universal Studios in about another month to go to Halloween Horror Nights. So we're hoping to make a video for that. Obviously, we won't be able to necessarily film inside of the haunted houses, but we can at least show you guys the entrances and kind of what, what the atmosphere is like. So be on the lookout for that in the future. Um, but we got some other videos coming, um, some things I got to get edited and all that stuff from like previous trips and and then we'll probably have some stuff that we film coming up really soon. So check out all of that content on Team Rixie. So hit that subscribe button on that channel. And our Instagram page for Team Rixie is team underscore Rixie where we post vacation pictures. All right, see you guys in another video, whatever video that may be. Thank you, thank you so much for spending time with me today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to spend some time with your boy Ascalon and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much to all of my Asgardians. And if you're not an Asgardian yet, thank you for watching my video. I hope I convinced you to hit that subscribe button. We're just chilling and just laid back here. You know, no pressure to do anything, but I definitely welcome any new Asgardians to the community. This community is awesome and you would be a proud member of it if you happen to hit that subscribe button. But y'all take care. Peace.